In Unit 21, we look at areas of triangles and trapezoids. The basic principles are in triangles, the area of a triangle is the product of one half times the base times the height. In trapezoids, the area of a trapezoid is the quotient of the height times the sum of the length of the longer base plus the length of the shorter base divided by 2. So let's slide down and we'll work a couple of these real quick. Now a triangle is essentially a rectangle cut in half diagonally. So let's look at these triangles and we'll do a couple of them. So here's the formula, 1 half times the base times the height. So let's say this triangle was, the base was 17 and the height was 27. We would write that as 0.5 times 27 times 17. And that becomes 229.5. We'll do another one real quick. Let's get these out of the way. Let's say the area was, let's, well, let's say they give you the area. Let's say the area was 100. This is the area times 1 half. And they only give you the base. times whatever that is. So to do this you would divide both sides by 0.5 times 12. That becomes 100 over 6. So your height then is 16.667. So let's uh, scroll down and we'll look at trapezoids. Now trapezoids differ from rectangles and parallelograms because only two of the sides are parallel. In a rectangle or a parallelogram all four sides are parallel to their opposite sides. So the base, the height, those are all parallel. In a trapezoid, it's different. These sides are not parallel. They can be any angle. So the way that we figure that out is we take the height times the base plus this base divided by 2. So let's try one real quick. Let's say the height was 5 eighths. And let's say the shorter length of the top is 2 and 3 fourths. And the bottom was 3 and a half. We would write this as the area equals 0.625 times 2.75 plus 3.5, all of that divided by 2. And when you do the math on your calculator, you come up with 1.95. Three. We'll get rid of these real quick. So let's say your height was 107 millimeters and your base, the top base was 210 millimeters and the bottom was 340. millimeters. 
you would set that up the same way. The area is equal to 107 times the sum of 210 plus 340 and all of this divided by 2. And if you multiply, if you add these together, then multiply it and then divide that answer, you come up with 29.425. And that would be millimeters squared. So, I hope that helps. Uh, as always, if you have any questions, see me after class. And I will talk with you again soon.